Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo. We're here at the South Park Center and I'm joined with Brandon and David who've come all the way from Text the Beer Bus with their great movie, The Sidewalk Artist. Let's take a little clip. So you did the, the footprints? Uh, I did the driveway and the footprints, someone was in a rush past. I couldn't stop him. Like a, a real person or you made? Huh. A person. Person. So, uh, you made it or it was a? What do you think? Okay. Um, thank you so much for both being here. Thank you for coming all the way from North Texas. Thank you for putting North Texas on the map in this film <laughs> too. Um, the Sidewalk Artist, I had such a ball watching this incredible film. Um, tell us a little about where the inspiration came behind making this project. So, what was the inspiration, yeah. Yeah, I think <laughs> we were really interested in like kind of creating something that elevated the mundane. We really wanted to find like the magic and like kind of like the little intric intricacies of, of human life that kind of like give us a little bit of, of magic, you know? Um, but we were really interested in making something that felt very real very real yeah. yeah as real as possible um i think i think we we like the sort of like you mentioned like the beauty the beauty of like everyday life and we wanted to accentuate that mm -hmm. in any way that we could and for us it was just kind of following portillo and seeing the magic of what he does yeah it was it was just kind of an exciting thought to us well portillo is like an amazing like human being i'm, I'm kind of obsessed with him actually um, and I'll never walk on a sidewalk the same way again for my life, so <laughs> thank you for doing that. Good, yeah, of um, course. <laughs> but, like, the, what a fascinating character. Like, how did you come about your subject? <laughs> he's so, a family friend of yours. Yeah, he's a family friend of mine, yeah. We, he grew up, I, he grew up, I grew up with him coming around, like, the house. He was friends with my mom. Um, and just come around, kind of, like, showing us his art and his older stuff that he's been doing. Um, but he left a really big impact on my in my life. Yeah. So yeah, we came as soon as we kind of like had this idea, we kind of like circled back with him and kind of like re reached out, and he was interested, and he let us come and um, watch him do his work. He has the most natural dry humor that I'm kind of in love with that I've ever seen. Like. He, I just found him so fascinating. Yeah, and yeah. Like, is he really like that all the time? Like, I, I, it is, when you say like natural, it is very natural. Yeah. Cause like that was, when he when he was talking about like every print that he does or like when he like kind of was just, you know, explaining things to us like on camera, he was just telling stories. Yeah. Like it was like a very genuine, just like the stories that he comes up with. Cause first, first and foremost, he is a storyteller. Yeah. Like he is mm -hmm. doing sort of the same thing that we are. And he, like, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have called himself a storyteller or even an artist. Like he's not someone who like labels himself as that. Like it's, he's, mm -hmm. he's a really strange bird. You know? Yeah. And I love how like you took things like, you know, like we see every single where we walk in any part of the United States and beyond, like we see, you know, the sidewalks being, you know, made, recreated, done. And I'm like, you know, we t and sometimes we might see that walking down the street and mm -hmm. take it for granted. Yeah. And here we are, we've got an artist who's doing it all around the local area. Like, how's he getting away with it all? Like, sure. it's amazing. So yeah. how, was, how was that un uncovering that little, little secret and then and working with all of those neighbors, including the ones that didn't want to take part? <laughs> uh so you're, you're asking like what the yeah like what what was that like ex I mean how is it in the North Texas area like how has that experience been like you know kind of sharing this 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 craft and artist of the years and uh, and display it on camera yeah I think I well part part of what we wanted to show was like the craftsmanship that goes into mm -hmm. the contractors work like yeah. what actually like these laborers are doing when they are like just there that there is an art to it you know yeah. when you see something that might seem like it's not very fantastic or like nothing out of the ordinary. It, yeah. it really is. Like there yeah. is like a lot of craft and um, artistry that goes into it. Yeah, but he, he found a way to get away with the stuff that he's doing. Cause like yeah. he's, these are the, when he does this, these are sites that like he owns basically. He, he's getting hired by the person to like yeah. come in there and leave or do the work, like put, put out the concrete cement. And he takes, he, he takes a little bit of liberty to leave these marks and he doesn't really tell the owner sometimes. Um, but that's how he kind of, goes into these worlds and does his thing, you know? No, I love how you kind of gave us this, like, you know, sort of really, you know, bird's eye view of what it's like to be a contractor and what it's like to be involved with this, you know, group of team. And, and it, one of it was filmed at one of your family's house, right? Was that right? One of the contractors yeah. was done? Yeah. It was, we, we shot the whole thing at my, at my grandfather's house, my grandparents' house. Um, 
the garden, everything there, it was all, a lot of the like set design was just, it was just there. Everything was yeah. just a lot found. We had to take some things away and put some things there. Make it look, like make it look the, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what, did your, what did your grandfather say, hey, my, my house is now a movie set? Like, what was that experience like? Uh, they, I think they loved it. They loved yeah. it? It was honestly, it was like a really, it's, it's a very like cherished memory that I have now with mm -hmm. them of, because David and I were just spending like months on end at my grandparents and like I was just seeing them on the daily yeah. and like you mm -hmm. know how grandparents are mm -hmm. and just being offered food constantly or you know water help anything so much of like what went into the film my grandfather helped and yeah. my grandmother also helped in like just it was it was a really like heartwarming thing to share with them yeah no definitely now he's a movie maker star now as well yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> on location um so obviously it's that you met in college and there's a tripod of of you all between, between <laughs> emily as well but yes. like how did you all how did you all connect to meet each other and because it's i think your team is everything and yeah. that's really important so um there was this uh, at our college there was like a tv station there and we weren't even part of any of the tv shows that we were part of the promotions team because it was like the part, the, the department that had like the least amount of commitment yet to give to it, but like, <laughs> uh, but we would come in telling. there, yeah, but we would come in there and like really just kind of like exercise our like skills or like just what we wanted to see. And Brandon made this like animation that like blew me away, and I was like, I want to be friends with him. Yeah, and really. after that we just started hanging out. We're really like oh, friends, man. and then David was working on a short film shortly thereafter, and we needed a talented DP, and so yeah. Emily Sanchez, who was the cinematographer for the Sidewalk Artists, Great. we found her, and then we were like, oh, this is, all of our tastes really match up. Yeah. And like, yeah. we all bring a really unique perspective and identity that's shared, but yeah. like, there's also a different flavor to each yeah. person, and mm -hmm. like, it's, I think we've really like, fully sent it in terms of like, seeing what we can make together as a whole, and Sidewalk Artist is like, the perfect example of yeah. like, all three of our sensibilities just working yeah. together. Mm -hmm. So I love the low shots that she was taking. Actually, just like you know, it was like very even from the very beginning. I was like, oh, that's, that's really cool the way she, that she shot this documentary. Yeah. And then of course you were the the voice behind the documentary. It was, well, your, that was, it was your voice, Brandon. Right. That was so me. Yeah. Did you know you're always going to be you know the voice of the documentary? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like well, there's one. There's a couple moments that David speaking David, to. No. Yes, that's true. The last... Sorry, David, you were. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. It's no, but it's but it wasn't like a, a thing that we decided to put in the edit until like yeah. until the end because we didn't want to hear our voice we don't want to have true. any form of like I guess we don't want to leave any uh, trace of ourselves but then yeah. we realized like every documentary has some sort of like bias behind it you know like yeah. you might not see the fingerprints but there's a reason why you're not because a documentarian wants you to think of a certain subject in a certain way mm -hmm. we really want to show like l our fingerprints funny enough like yeah. we wanted to show that there's someone here telling you the story and delivering it to you in a way that like it's it's pretty precise as 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 loose as the movie feels. It's mm -hmm. it's very precise. Yeah, yeah, I think I think part of the other reason that like that we chose to include my voice in the film is because we were expecting Portillo to give us a lot more. Like we were expecting answers, honestly. Like we were expecting him to fully like give us a little bit more. And then as we were shooting it, we kind of realized that it was going to have this tone of more. I don't know, a subtler tone, yeah. you know, where he was more restrained and wasn't giving us quite as much. And when you see him on camera, it's, you have that feeling of like, why? Like, what do you, yeah. like, you mm -hmm. want to know. And so I think it's like seeing how he doesn't answer is almost just as telling as like his answers. Yeah. Well, looking back on it, and it's a very unique question that I don't even ask you to, what was your favorite, what was your favorite artistic mark that you made around North Texas? Oh, good question. Good question. I like uh, I like raccoon a lot. Oh, raccoon, raccoon was good. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. That's my uncle. The, That's your uncle. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Yeah. Your uncle's a raccoon. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Very close. Uh, no, he, he has the raccoon print. He was the guy oh. that's yeah. He was a raccoon. Oh, he, there you go. Yeah. Does the thing, but uh, oh, the other one, um, the first one you see, um, with the two sons. Oh, two sons. Yeah, two that sons one. is good. That one. That one was just, the story behind that is exactly what she says. Like, it, a man came up there, said that we had some extra concrete to fill up your cement, or fill up, fill up your driveway, and he asked if, like, the key could leave a mark. And that oh, actually wow. happened. Like, yeah. he, whoever that person was, whoever that cyber artist was, it wasn't Portillo, we asked him, it wasn't him, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like the, uh, I also like the Iraq with the peace sign. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was good. Serial. Serial yeah. pretty good, too. <laughs> Very clever. I think my favorite was, was toddler Emily. Um, that was, oh, yeah. that was fascinating to me. I was Emily's, like, Emily's hand was very, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
that was a fun experience for sure. What was the biggest challenge you make in this project? It's never easy making a documentary. What did you kind of, what was the biggest one for you? Editing, right? Editing. editing. Yeah. It had to be editing. Yeah. There was so much freaking footage. Mm -hmm. Like, we had over seven hours of footage. It was, oh, really? it was just countless hours of footage that we were scouring through and like trying so many different things. And it's so true that you write the film three times, you know, yeah. like yeah. on set and before and after. And mm -hmm. it, we felt that mm -hmm. in the after. And we lost our minds a little bit. Like, oh, yeah, we were 100%. definitely like, going in circles, trying to figure things out. And we were so obsessed with um, sort of the authenticity of like of the documentary feel yeah. that we we were like just very much in our own zone. And we it wasn't until we showed someone um, showed like a group of our friends the cut and like kind of got some feedback that we were like, we can be way more playful with yeah, this. Like 100%. we can actually just have a lot more fun and not take it so seriously. Yeah, yeah so. no, absolutely. It would look like you had a lot of fun. I'd love to have been on your on your crew because it was <laughs> actually having fun. And now you've like unraveled the, the national treasure of, of North Texas that you know could go international with this thing. What what has the reaction been like from the audience? I'm so curious. Um, from the audience in Texas? The, I've heard the audience everywhere. Oh yeah. Film festivals. I, uh, people, people like to laugh. Yeah. We were, <laughs> we, we were really surprised. I think, again, we, we, made this, we made this film really with no intention to send to film festivals, to send to anything. Really? We, made, we made it Absolutely. for our own experiment. We wanted oh, wow. to discover this like technique. It's a, it's a 20 minute film about concrete. Yeah, who like, was going to watch that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I wanted more. I was like, ready for the feature version. <laughs> well, with the amount of footage that we have, we could make a feature version. But I don't know if you want to watch that one. Um, but yeah, like we, we weren't, expecting this like um interaction from the audience really they love it they love it they have so much more nicer things to say about it than i do almost like it's yeah. like it's incredible <laughs> to hear how much this character is resonating with people and it, it really warms my heart to see people coming up to me after the films like i love him yeah like, i want yeah. like i want so much more from him people care so much yeah. about him mm -hmm. yeah it's it's yeah. really freaking heartwarming yeah and you've made you put concrete on the map as being very cool you know <laughs> concrete Hopefully. is cool uh, but that comes down to the person behind it which is the sidewalk artist so um i'm very excited for what is next for you as your team of what you're creating together so what is next what's happening next uh so watchla is our collective um we're very focused on telling Tejano stories, and by telling Tejano stories, I mean telling stories and being Tejano, mm -hmm. <laughs> and like just kind of showing the Texas identity. And um, yeah, I think I think we're really focused on doing more documentaries, and we're mm -hmm. also focused on making mockumentaries. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be doing both, putting them out into the world, not telling people which ones are which, and leaving it up to the audience to decide and kind of take it for themselves. Yeah, um, and then working on the more projects mm -hmm. as we, we go. We have a few projects coming out uh, within the next few months. One on uh, parallel parking in Austin, Texas. Yep. Uh, one Purely observational, Yeah. really weird. <laughs> yeah, one's, uh, uh, it's called Ghost Wave. It's basically, we go to San Antonio and we talk, we ask people if they have, if they believe in ghosts and we want to hear the stories. And that, one's, that was a, a really fun one. We, What's parallel parking? So we have the, we have one called Parallel that's basically like it's oh. it's like observational footage of like just Got it. I thought it was people Parallel in Austin. Ghost story. Oh, no, 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 sorry, this is like different yeah, ones. Next yeah. Time, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. So you got one about Parallel Parking. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you made it as exciting as Concrete, I'm ready for it. But Parallel mm -hmm. Parking is fascinating. It's also <laughs> one of the most biggest war zones in LA as well. Oh, I'm so sure. I really can't wait to see it. I'm sure. As you can tell, it's like the things that we focus on are not very extravagant. It's like we go from Concrete to Parallel Parking to. But you make them so interesting. And so the other one is is go with ghost stories. About ghost stories. Yeah, yeah. More so about the story element yeah I yeah think, more than anything about how people interpret those interactions that they might have in life you know yeah yeah well listen whatever you bring us i'm excited for it and i'm ready for it and i'm, I'm ready for wherever we're going to take us next but listen thank you so much for the cyber artist thank you for coming in from texas yeah, thank, thank you thank for you. uh bringing um this this hero to light um that should be internationally spreading his thing on the concrete <laughs> um but really appreciate you so thank you both very much brandon appreciate and david it. buddy appreciate you thank you <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha